Russian fighter jets hit another hospital in Syria, reportedly killing dozens of people, including doctors, nurses and patients. It is the fifth hospital Russia has allegedly hit since beginning its bombing campaign last month. The defense, the Russian defense ministry, says it has investigated allegations of its targeting hospitals in Syria and said that in five of the out of six towns that were mentioned in various reports, there were no hospitals. They say there is a hospital only in the settlement of Sarmin, which is in the Idlib province. Last week, John Kirby told us that the U.S. had operational intelligence that Russia had hit a hospital. Which hospital exactly did he mean? Was it the one in Sarmin? So thank you for the question on that. Um, as uh, Mr. Kirby discussed last week, we're not going to get into the details of operational assessment or intelligence. Uh, we stand by his word. Can you really offer no details on the hospital that the U.S. accuses Russia of hitting? We're going to stand by Mr. Kirby. You're not even going to say where, where it is, that hospital that, that you are saying Russia hit? What we're saying is that we have seen information that Russia is targeting civilian infrastructure. But um, you, and we you, would you point spoke you to the he spoke about NGOs on the ground as well as open source reporting on that. He spoke about a specific hospital in Syria. Where exactly is it? What details can you offer about that hospital? Again, I'm not going to get into this sort of detail of operational assessment for this. Maybe you should speak to the Russians on their target. Well, they actually, they have. But clearly, either she or her colleagues have spoken to the Russians about it, and they say that you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay? Isn't it incumbent on you to come up with some, e I mean, even a location? It doesn't seem like it would be that difficult or violate any kind of intelligence uh, intelligence thing to, uh, intelligence uh, sources and methods to say where exactly it is that you're that you're talking about when you when you make the accusation um, that's the first thing and then the second thing is you just expanded it quite broadly to say not just hospitals you said that the Russians are actually targeting civilian infrastructure. The Russians, thank you, Matt. Actually, the Russians have hit. Um, thank you for the Are they targeting your... So you're, are you, hit okay, so they're they not, not targeting target. civilian infrastructure? No, I'm thanking okay. you for that. Uh, Ma'am, uh, well, details are especially relevant. This morning, uh, the Russian Defense Ministry has released images and video of the hospital in Sarmin, mm -hmm. uh, which was allegedly hit by by Russia. And the these images, uh, they, they show the building of the hospital, which doesn't look like it was recently bombed. I printed them out. <laughs> In case you haven't seen them, I can I can show them. Can you see why it's important for the U.S. to show its evidence of the alleged destruction of a hospital by Russia? How about this? I'll take your question. If there's information we can show, we'll get it. Okay. I'd be happy to. The other day, um, the question arose where the information was coming from about Russian Russia hitting hospitals, etc. Um, and I, I, got, I did get a list of the NGOs that you guys say or believe have given credible reports about um, medical facilities being hit. Those include um, Physicians for Human Rights, the Syrian Network for Human Rights, Syrian American Medical Society and, and Doctors Without Borders. Is that pretty much, I mean, this was given to me off camera, offline, email. Is that your understanding that those are some, at least some of the groups that, whose 
reporting you're relying on or that you use. At least some, yeah. But it's not the full total sum of the information that we have at our disposal. I, I want to focus on one. Have you uh, have you seen the uh, med uh, the Doctors Without Borders uh, internal report on the, the attack on the Kinders Hospital, which says that the, there were no armed people inside the, the facility and that some people were shot from the helicopter gunship while fleeing the facility. I've not seen the report, uh, Matt, but I am aware of it. I believe uh, DOD has issued a statement about it. Um, uh, uh, they're, they're reviewing it. Um, they intend to uh, use it as part of their investigation to help inform their investigation as it continues. Um, and I think they noted that General Campbell himself has met with uh, officials from uh, Doctors Without Borders as recently as just a few days ago to, right. to discuss you, uh, how his investigation is proceeding. Okay, my question is you regard that report, their internal, their report that they did as, as credible? I, 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 as I said, they just issued it and uh, DOD is reviewing it, so I'm not in a position to give it a, a homework grade right now, uh, but we obviously take it seriously, uh, given that it was their hospital and their people. Um, and uh, so we're and we're and we got, we're going to consider it seriously. But again, DOD is looking at it right now. Okay. The reason I ask is because there has been a tendency in the past for the U.S. government, except in various administrations, to kind of pick and choose which reports it wants to accept as credible and reliable, from by the same uh, by the same organizations. Uh, clearly, I'm asking about MSF in this case, but it's happened with Human Rights Watch. It's happened with Amnesty International. Would you regard the, the credibility? of the, the uh, MSF report on Kunduz as the same or as as credible as the reporting that they have done from Syria about the hospital fund. I'm not in a position to make that call, Matt. Um, and as I said, going back to the real crux, I think, of, of the question, we get information from lots of sources. It's mm -hmm. not just from outside groups. Um, we have to take uh, these claims by outside groups seriously. That doesn't mean we necessarily will come to the same conclusions over time after a review of them. But we don't dismiss them out of hand. And I am in no position to say that we take one report from one group more credibly than another report from the same group. We take them all in, we review them, we check them against the information that we also have using a variety of sources, and then we make our own decisions based on that. Um, but in a situation like in Syria, uh, where you don't have uh, eyes on the ground necessarily uh, of your own, um, uh, it's incumbent upon you. I think it would be irresponsible not to consider and to, and to take under review um, observations made by groups that are, that are there on the ground, even more, even those uh, with whom you may not agree on every single matter or uh, may not uh, may not pan out to be 100% accurate all the time. Okay. Yeah.